Greetings, dear ones. We have an opportunity today to connect to yet another aspect of Hashem's creation. This time through cacti and succulents, these incredible desert plants that somehow know how to live in the harshest of places. And this is something we as a people also know how to do. And I invite you to connect to that resilience within you as you close your eyes and place your beautiful hands over your incredible heart. And with your mind's eye in that space under your hands, I invite you to allow your breathing to slow down a bit. And as you watch your breath, allow your awareness to take note of the trillions of cells that make up this body of yours. And allow yourself to imagine trillions of little cells each playing its role all of them working in harmony together responding to the signals of your brain and of your heart. You can choose to make those signals even more harmonious. even more beautiful. By choosing to connect to an emotion of the heart. I invite you to experience love in this moment. The love that exists within you and the love that exists all around you. by thinking of a specific moment in time. When you were filled and surrounded by love. And 
and play out that memory as if it's happening right here, right now. Where are you? Who are you with? What colors? And textures do you notice around you? What do you hear? Smell? Taste? What beautiful emotions ride the wave of this moment of love? Perhaps joy? Gratitude? Wonder? Allow these emotions to fill your heart and choose to feel them even more. And turn up the volume even more. So that you can Feel your heart swelling under your hand. And allow that love to keep growing so that you can feel it and see it as an orb of light under your hands. This beautiful light of your love. And feel that light expanding so that it fills your entire body. From your head down to the tips of your toes. Loving you and relaxing you. and loving you and relaxing you and there's even more love in your heart that can expand even further beyond your body as this great orb of light that encompasses all of you And allow your awareness to expand, to hold the circle of our community. Those who are here in the live recording. And those precious ones of you joining us in a future now. We are all gathered together 
in a circle of love and feel that orb of yours expanding to hold the entire circle. Loving these souls and relaxing them and loving them and relaxing them and feel the light of their love washing over you and holding you and loving you and soften into that And hold on to all of that love and light as we head into the driest places, deep into the desert. You feel yourself planting your feet on the sand. And you feel roots take hold under your feet. And you look up at the blue sky. And there is not a cloud in sight. Not for many days. And many nights. You have our love to sustain you. And then he may behold the rains come. You feel that water washing over you. Feel the blessing washing over you. The Torah washing over you. And your roots know exactly what to do. They soak in every drop of rain, every bit of blessing, every word of Torah that lands on this earth and feel all of that Shefa, that abundance soaking in through the bottoms of your feet and rising into your body up your legs and your torso and your arms and your head and feel yourself growing ever plumper and juicier as you hold on to all of that water and blessing and Torah. Because you know that dark days will come. when the sky will be free of clouds and the land will be dry, 
You are a Yehudi. You have been here before. In every corner of the earth. You have walked through lands that weren't welcoming. That offered you no blessing. That were violent and vengeful. Oh, but you grew plump with Torah. And you held on to all of the blessings that the Holy One has imparted upon her people. And you stayed strong. Allow yourself to hold your head up high. And hold your spine erect like the cactus. You do not wilt in the desert. You not only survive, you thrive. that these parched times throughout our history were golden ages of Torah and so it is now If you choose to see this era of darkness as a golden age of Torah, then you can open your roots to take in all of that blessing that is hidden under the earth. and grow plump and juicy in the light of the divine. Because you know how to do this. You are a Yehudi. You are made to find goodness wherever it can be found, even in the desert. What a blessing you are in this world. Now I invite you to bind yourself ever further to our circle, to share your resilience with us and your faithfulness with us. As we imagine the Shvu'im of Am Yisrael, Those whose minds or bodies or souls have been taken captive by the forces of darkness. Those who wonder whether there is hope. Those who have become parched and dry. I invite you to see them in the midst of our circle.
and to bring your hands off of your chest and have them facing out towards the center of the circle. And allow your palms to feel as if their love is caressing all of these shrieking. And I invite the prophets of Israel, those who lived in the greatest of times and those who lived in the darkest of times to join us here as a circle around our circle. And if you choose to imagine it so, it is so. Yeshayahu and Yirmiyahu, and Avram Avinu, and Moshe Rabbeinu, and Shmuel Hanavi, and Devora Hanavia. all of them surrounding us with their hands turned towards the center of the circle as well. And I invite the writer of the Psalms to join us as well as we read Perak Kuf Lamed. 130 of Psalms. You may choose to read it on the screen or keep your eyes closed and allow the words to wash over you and feel the letters coming in through the top of your head as beams of light and filling your heart with their light and allow that light to explode and run through your arms and out of the palms of your hands blessing those in our midst as i begin shil hamaalot Mima Amakim Karatiha Adonai Adonai Shima Bekol E Tihiena Oznechak Shuvot Bekol Tahanunai Im Avonot Tishmo Ya Adonai Mia Amod Ki Imcha Haslicha Leman Tivare Ki viti Adonai kivta nafshi velidvaro hochalti nafshi ladonai nishmorin la boker shomrin la boker Yachel Yisrael el Adonai ki im Adonai achesed veharbe imo fdut Vehu yifde et Israel Mikol Avonotam. And I invite us now with the power vested in us. as Mamlechet Kohanim, as a nation of priests, to bless those in our midst with the blessing of the Kohanim. And if you believe that you have the power to bless, blessing comes through you And if you believe that light can move through you from the heavens 
and from the earth, from the roots of the bottoms of your feet, it is so. So with every word, imagine divine blessing from above and the Torah from below to make its way into your heart and explode out of your hands onto the heads of all of those in our midst. And we begin. Yivarechecha Adonai Vayishmerecha Ya'er Adonai Panav Elecha Vayichoneka Yisa Adonai Panav Elecha Vayasem Lecha Shalom. And I invite you now to bring those hands of yours back to your beautiful heart and bless yourself with the infinite light of the divine above and the infinite waters of Torah from below. That you may know that you have a heritage of holding on, of resilience and of strength in the darkness. And remember this moment when you remember the strength of who you are. Knowing that as the Jewish people have made the desert bloom, you yourself can bloom in the desert. When you are ready, I invite you to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and bat your eyes open. Thank you for your presence and your blessing and your light. With love from Johannesburg. <laughs>